What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look on how to farm Max Honey in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And you might be wondering, what's the point of farming Max Honey? Well, that's 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 why we're doing this video. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have completed the post game in your actual Sword and Shield game because you need to have access to the bike and have access to the certain quests that'll give you max honey. So this is after you finish the post game and everything within the Isle of Armor. So you want to go over to the training lowlands. This is your fastest way to head over to this tree. I call it Honeycomb Island, Honeycomb Tree Island, whatever you want to call it, the Hexagon Island. I don't know. All right, so we land over here. We're going to get on our bike. Clearly, I didn't know where I was going in the initial part of that part. So we're going to go ahead, uh, drive your bike down here. Just follow this route real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, past that Talon Flame. Go to the water. And then you're going to obviously want to avoid the Sharpedos here. This is not a tutorial. This is just me fluffing time out so I can make my way to this island. Here we go. Once you arrive on Honeycomb Island, basically get off your bike and drop a wishing piece into any one of these dens. All right. And the dens will spawn either Combees or Vespiqueen. It doesn't matter which one. You just want to go into it as soon as you see one of these bees because these bees are the ones that drop the honey. Now... Be aware that each one of these raids has a 50 to 70% chance of dropping these max honeys. So we're going to go ahead, hop in here. Uh, clearly, I have no friends playing with me right now. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go alone in here. And we're going to fight this raid battle. And we will be right back at the end when I get the rewards. All right, Combi was caught. Let's check the rewards and pray and hope we got max honey. We have lots of honey, but we did not get max honey this round, unfortunately. And I'm making a video, which sucks. But that's the 50 to 70% chance of it happening. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do another one until I get it. I'm not going to bother catching because you get the rewards regardless of what you do. So I'm not going to catch here. And we're going to hope we get that 50 to 70% chance of it dropping max honey. And we got the max honey. So there we go. Now, the purpose of max honey at the moment of this video currently in the game is to only G-Max Urshifu. If you guys want to know why you need to G-Max Urshifu or how you can G-Max multiple Urshifu, you could check out the other video in where I tell you guys how to get multiple Urshifus by just having one game and one DLC. So go ahead and check that out. So in order to use the Max Honey in the game, you gotta go back to the dojo. I'm sure if those who have beaten the game, you guys are already aware that you need to, to go here anyway because it's part of the post-story quest line for the DLC, the G-Max Urshifu. Now, if for some reason you don't care and you have an excess of Max Honey that you don't really, you know, need, you can just use it to revive your Pokemon to full health. Now, obviously, if you didn't know, this is exactly the person you're going to go to. And like I said before, as of this game, the only thing that you could G-Max is Urshifu, but there's no way that they have all this honey just for one Pokemon. I strongly believe that in the next DLC, if there's G-Max forms and you need to get them, you have to come over here to do it for specific G-Max Pokemon. Now, regular G-Max Pokemon in the game do not need Max Honey. All they need is three Max Mushrooms. So, if you're doing an Urshifu, remember, three Max Mushrooms, one Max Honey, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a G-Max Urshifu. And again, I think this is going to be used for Legendaries later on in other expansions or in updates. Maybe a Zarud. That, that weird grass dark monkey is going to have a special G-Max form, and you might need Max Honey. So go ahead, rack those up, you know, farm those. Keep them just in case you never have to come back here again. And that's pretty much it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think we should cover next in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I also want to remind you guys that we do stream almost every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you want to go ahead and check out the Twitch. If you're looking for a Discord community as well to go ahead and trade Pokemon and you need help with things, go ahead. I list, I list that down in the description below. Without further ado, guys, uh, I'm going to head off in this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.